In this video I'm going to show you how to access the firmware and diagnostic menu for the Toshiba Camellio X100 consumer high definition video camera. I purchased this unit right here and when it first arrived the autofocus seemed to be a little bit off. Uh, when I would target something it seemed to be just a little fuzzy and would sometimes drift you know back and forth a little bit more out of focus a little closer to focus uh, I was unhappy with this not the results I had wanted in my camera I discovered uh, a menu system that is nowhere in your manual and I'm going to show you how to get to this menu um, the menu allows you to calibrate the autofocus uh, calibrate the noise level of the CCD device um, light versus shadow uh, it allows you to test the LCD screen itself for bad pixels malfunctions uh, it allows you to calibrate the white balance and possibly a few other things are buried in here still that I haven't found I have been informed by some other people that this process also applies to the Toshiba P30 and the Toshiba H20 cameras uh, just the same. Now before you begin I suggest you have a fully charged battery which can be found in here. You unlock it, open it up, there's your battery and you can charge it from a USB port on your computer, your Xbox, your cable box plugs right in there you may have the power charger that came with it handy. Go ahead, charge it up. Get it fully topped off. Um, you definitely don't want the battery failing in the middle of all this. Next thing I suggest you do is remove your memory card. It's right here. Press it in. It pops out. You lift it. There you go. Card is out. Next thing I suggest you do, if you're going to follow any of the steps for calibrating and white balancing, which I'm not going to show you here, I'm going to show you how to get to the menu. But if you activate any of those functions, you're going to want a nice clean camera lens. So open this up and get your lens cleaning cloth, your brush, your air, what have you. Clean that off. You don't want any particles in there interfering with things. So, first things first. To view your firmware version, first step is open this up, hit powers on. There are two buttons up here, one and two. Okay, this is your playback um, button for going into the browser of things you already got. And this puts the camera between um, still shot mode, like a regular digital camera, or movie mode uh, for making videos. So you've got the left button and the right button here. You also on the top have the zoom out and zoom in lever right here. Okay. We're going to have uh, on this selector wheel here, which we're not going to use the rotation of, but we're going to have on this the up, the down, the left, and the right, and then the very center is the record button, or in the case of choosing menus, it's the OK button. So, from the power on screen, you want to press and hold the left upper button, hold it down, and move the zoom lever to the right until that display shows. That's your firmware version. Okay, now um, the next thing you'll do is you will press the movie still shot button, hold it down, and zoom right. You'll hear it chirp. It'll bring you to this beautiful menu called the PCBA test program. Now your camera may or may not behave like mine uh, mine, as you can see, the menu is flashing in and out from a black white screen to the menu. Um, in this menu, uh, you will see options for uh, setting your white balance, your autofocus, etc. So, the functions in here is a uh, lens shadow uh, noise level for the CCD you would press the play button which is the upper left here that's the playback button if you want to auto calibrate your uh, 
focusing for your zoom, the autofocus of the camera, you would press the up on the selector wheel. Uh, if you wanted to test the LCD, you would choose the left option on the selector wheel. You would choose right to calibrate the white balance. And the down arrow, I have no idea what this means, but it is DPC. I have no idea. Um, and I do know that if you activate this, though, it does wipe the contents of the memory card or the internal memory. Anything recorded in there is going to be gone.